Welcome everybody, my name is Parker. So guys, the high stakes mode is out now and is available now. So I'm so hyped for this mode. So let's just get right into it. So the getaway LTM. Suit up, get the goods, and get out of there. Assemble your team to pull off the ultimate heist with this new mode. Suit up. Getaway gang gear available now. High stakes challenges. Complete these challenges to unlock XP, a free spray, contrail, and a pickaxe. So guys, all these things are part of the high stake mode and they're just epic so I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about this mode and all the challenges you have to do alright guys so the challenges to get the pickaxe which is the crowbar there's only three challenges you have to play 10 games of the getaway deal damage to jewel carrying opponents so if someone has the llama jewel which as you can guys see on the left of the screen that's what it looks like if you shoot that person then it'll count as the damage so you need 500 damage to do that, so that could be a while, but just try and do that. And then you will unlock the spray paint, as you guys can see. And then the final one, pick up Jewel in different matches of the getaway. So you have to pick up the Jewel five times in different matches, and that's when you get the money trail, which is so darn cool. Alright guys, there's a ton in the item shop. Obviously, the new wildcard outfit is here, and you can get it now. I want this thing so bad, but I'm probably going to buy some V-Bucks like today or something so I'm gonna get this most likely because I absolutely love this skin it's awesome so you can oops not that uh, my bad so if you click on it here and hit Y you can preview the different styles so here's the the diamond here's the spades here's the heart and here's the clubs so these are super cool like I really like how you can customize the masks and I cannot wait to get this and then the backpack which is called the cuff case that's weird um which i talked about in my video a couple days ago if you guys did not see that and then go check it out right now so this backpack is amazing and it comes with this so all for 2000 v bucks i will definitely get that and then the safe cracker i i need to but honestly it's another 800 so that would be 2800 v bucks gone right there and I'm gonna buy a thousand so then that'll mean I'll have none so like that's not good so it depends if I'll buy this I really want it though because it's absolutely incredible and then guys uh, the bandolier yeah that's how I say it, outfit is now back so this one is pretty cool it's like a military it's 1500 V-Bucks so that's pretty cool and then it does come with no sorry it does not come with you have to buy the stop axe this one's honestly really cool I like how it literally has pads taped to it on the handle and then just a broken stop sign so 800 V-Bucks go check it out all right and another skin is the battle hound this skin is so popular I see it all the time a lot of pro players have this skin honestly so I really like it it's 2000 V-Bucks though so it's pretty expensive so I'm not gonna get it because I'm definitely gonna spend it on the wild card outfit all right, and the daily items is the Steel Sight uh, Victory Demands Nerves of Steel. So it's a really cool outfit because I really like the armor on it. So that's pretty cool. And then it comes with the backpack, which is the Steel Cast. So it's like a welding, pre precision welded. I'm not quite sure what that backpack is, but it looks cool. So 1500 V-Bucks, go check it out. All right, then you got the Roar. So this one is okay. I mean, it's pretty funny, but honestly, I wouldn't spend my 500 V bucks on that because to me, it's kind of a waste. But anyway, if you guys do like that, go check it out. The Eagle. I love this. This is just epic. All right. And the last thing is the commando outfit. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Oh, guys, I did not show you this. The Silver Fang. So, this is an awesome looking pickaxe. Like, really, this is so cool. It looks like a staff. So, it's part of this set. So, if you want it, then go get all these items together and you'll look awesome. Alright, guys, the next thing on the list is talking about the high stakes mode. Like, what you need to do and just everything about it. So, you guys can see in the background here, I went into replay mode and just followed this one supply drop out of four that comes in so basically there's a total of four supply drops that come in that have like a 
vault. So you guys can see here, it looks like a safe. And it's really funny because this person literally landed on top of it with no weapon. And it's just crazy. So there's four getaway vans that float in the sky kind of, not, not very high up, but you definitely have to build quite a ways to get up to it. So anyway, what you do is you go to the supply drop and once you open it, it takes like, I think 10 seconds or something to open. I'm not quite sure, but you will get a llama jewel. I'll put a picture of up on screen right here of what the llama jewel looks like so basically once you get this it goes on your back like a backpack and it does give you shield too which is absolutely awesome because it's a healable device even though you're just carrying it without an inventory space so that's awesome so once you have the jewel you basically have to go find one of those vans I'm I'm actually not sure if they have to like match or if you just go to any van you want so anyway you have to find that van, build up to it, and then jump inside of it, and that's how you win. It sounds pretty simple, but trust me, there are so many people going for each one of these supply drops and, like, protecting these vans, and the vans don't come till like, later in the game, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, this mode is so hard, but it's awesome. I absolutely love it. It is a squad mode, and... I went into a game and tried it and I played solo and I did not last at all because I got a sniper as my first weapon. And speaking of guns, we have a lot to talk about about guns in this game. So there was a huge update where they changed the color of the guns. So obviously like pumps and tacks and scars, they're all the same color. All ARs are the same. But when it comes to the silenced pistols, they're only legendary and epic, but now they come in green and blue, which is really weird to see, honestly. And also, the semi-auto snipers are now green and blue. So it's just so weird to see a green sniper, because there there is no such thing as a green sniper, but now there is, and there's a whole lot of more guns. I'm not quite sure all of them, but I'm just saying, the color variety of these guns changed a ton and it was super weird because the first game I went into when I landed everything I picked up was blue I got a blue AR a blue burst a blue pump um, a blue scoped AR and like a ton of slurps and shield which slurps are purple but all the shields were blue so I was like I don't know what is going on here if this is a glitch or if they changed it so blue is more of a common color which that's awesome honestly all right guys the next thing are the map updates there were two major map updates so the first one is in dusty divot it's actually in dusty depot but dusty depot has been transformed finally this is what they've been under construction for a long time now it is now called dusty diner as you guys can see here it is a diner in the original Dusty Depot building so I'll just let you guys take a look through this and it is just absolutely amazing it looks sick guys the next map update is in tilted towers it is trump tower but it's not trump tower anymore it is now an outdoor like shop so as you guys can see here there's all these like camping gear and there's trees inside there's kayaks everywhere and there's like a little golf thing so i really really like how this store looks now this has been under construction since season four so they finally finished it and it's got all the levels complete, including the lower level. You can go down there and there's all these clothes down there. So this is an awesome update to Tilted Towers. So I'll let you guys just go ahead and look at this.
And guys, that is going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to smack a like on it. If you are new, please consider subscribing. And guys, if you aren't already follow, following me on Instagram, please do so. It's on screen right here. So yeah, go follow me. And guys, if you have not checked out my merch yet, go do it. I literally bought it and I own a shirt now and it's literally so comfortable and the design turned out very good so guys go check it out and I'll see you guys later